Hello everyone, Reverend Deanna Cox here. I am the minister with the United Church of Canada and I serve Daysland, Killam, and Roseland United Churches and this online community of DKR United. You might see behind me the sign for the Daysland United Church. I am here outside. Um, <laughs> it is actually quite a beautiful February day here. A little bit of wind, not too bad. And uh, we this week we are wrapping up our series about being drawn in to God's light. Um, I hope that you have noticed around, if for those of you who are in the northern hemisphere like we are, that you have noticed how the daylight has gotten longer. And I hope that you have found joy in the warmer days like I have, um, that they have filled your spirit. Because that is what our series about being drawn to the light, being drawn into God's presence has been about, about taking time to find, to tune in to those things that bring us joy, that bring us light, that lighten our hearts and our spirits in, in ways that help us um, notice the sacredness around us and be better people. And we've talked about using music, laughter, um, finding God in everyday things. Uh, we've, you know, there's been lots of tips and tools that we've shared through, I think this is like week six. So there's been lots to share and richness. And uh, this week, as we wrap up, we are talking about how to live life abundantly. In John, the Gospel of John, chapter 10, it says, I came so that all may have life and have it abundantly. And so that's what this series has been about, about um, doing what we need to do so that we can live our best life. And in order to do that, you need to care for your body, mind, and spirit. And so this series has also focused on mental well-being. And that is a very, very, very important thing. As I was driving to Daysland, I was listening to a podcast about trauma and clutter. And it's amazing. If you want to know more about it... Um, message me and I'll send you the link. Um, and one of the things it was saying is about, it's not just about making space, physical space. It's also about mental space, clearing the clutter of our hearts and minds and finding peace, uh, pardon me, finding peace with the spaciousness and the silence. And that's one thing that generally, especially, sorry about that, I lost signal, so I moved a little closer to the internal Wi-Fi. Um, anyways, um, making room for the spaciousness in our minds, and I said that us at humans and often as extroverts, we don't do well with silence and just finding ways to be at peace. So, like I know in driving, I, my mind works, and that is a silence, right? Like so, or walking outside. Um, I think I shared once when I was doing my that um, intensive course that walking lets your brain process stuff. So, Get out and walk. Uh, listen to music. Go for a drive. Do what you need to be able to give yourself that spaciousness. Um, and the other thing that struck me as I was listening to that, this and through this whole series is it's not... Well-being isn't about a grand gesture that's going to fix 
everything all at once. Um, I often think that's the detriment of the healing stories in our scriptures, is that they've led us to think that healing can happen just with a snap of a finger or by believing and, uh, you know, having the right thing to say or the right person to come along and be with you. But actually healing, true healing, is step by step. It is a process that, um, and that we do ourselves, and it's, it's not a grand gesture, it's little, little bits of things at a time. And the other reason I wanted to come out here at Daysland and be outside is because I wanted to show, now I don't know if you can see, there's some signs on the door. I don't know if you see them. I don't, I don't think, I gotta get the camera over here. There we go. Now you can see those bright orange signs. You don't need to read them. You just need to know that we have share opened our space to benchmark hearing a business in Daysland that suffered loss of their office space due to a water main break just before Christmas. And so we reached out and shared what we had, a small thing, office space, that um, we are not using very much and so they might as well. And the um, spaciousness that it has given them and the uh, depth of gratitude that they have has been very uplifting to experience. And so it just wanted to show you that it doesn't have to be a grand gesture. It can be a small thing. And so, yeah. Uh, our passages today, this week, will be from John 10. The uh, I might just stick with that one verse that I came so that all may have life and live it abundantly. And there's also Psalm 119. And so we're going to talk about living and how to live the life that Jesus has called us to, to be intentional about how we live and intentional about caring for our well-being in that. So friends, take care and deep blessings upon you as we wrap this series up about being drawn into God's presence and um, then launch into Lent very shortly. So take care and God bless you all. Bye.